G'day everyone, welcome back to my little machine shop. So today I'm going to be doing some uh, motorcycle repairs for this Ducati motorcycle and these are a handlebar mount. Uh, the motorcycle's dropped over and it broke the bracket. My good buddy Wayne has loaned me his angle plate and it's probably a long term loan so thank you Wayne. And before I can do this today I had to sweep it in and you'll notice that the DTI did jump then as I grabbed the knee. That's probably got a little bit of play in the gib, but you can see there that it's uh, fairly fairly straight in both the Z and Y axes. Now I'll just flick to a couple of photos here to show you how I'm setting this up today. So I've clamped the angle plate on the table like so. You'll see a little bit of cigarette paper under the back end there to, to lift it up and I've mounted the Ducati handlebar mount to the plate directly. I'm just using my little probe here and I uh, showed you how I replaced the tip on that last week in last week's video and I've bolted the bracket on and, and uh, I've just dropped in a little bit of steel here just so I could find the center of that point. All right now you can see why I spent a lot of time clocking this in because I wanted it to be perfectly vertical and once I bout it, bolted it to that angle plate I could get that. However unfortunately I couldn't get the full reach so what I had to do is bolt on a steel plate and once the steel plate was on refit it and of course I was able to get it. Now here I'm using a Palbit uh, boring bar and inserts to get this down to the bottom here and using my boring head and I'm just taking off a half a mil cut as I go here. Now I'm just gently using the feed handle on the quill. I'm not feeding this by rotating or lifting the knee. I'm actually just winding the quill feed handle just very slowly. My little mill doesn't have auto feed on the quill, not like a bridge board or a King Rich mill would. So this was just done manually by hand, just by winding it slowly so I could have a slow feed rate. Now once I'd finished that uh, right hand side, I changed over to a normal boring bar that came with my kit. You'll see it's a triangular indexable carbide tip and I can work my way down to the bottom now. So I did all the lower machining first and brought that on size and then machined from the top to come down to, uh, to match that. And you'll see here that they both will blend in together in a second and you can see there that I was right on size for the bottom one as well and of course pull back up on a pull out pass to give that a nice surface finish but just taking a little spring pass on it Righto, so here I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. And there was my setup. There's the broken part to the left and the finished part to the right. Righto, I'd, uh, thanks for joining. Just a quick video today, just show you what I was up to. I actually put up a YouTube short on this as well um, about a week or so ago. So thanks again and uh, hopefully see you soon. Bye for now.